Hello and welcome everyone. This is a special video and what's going on is that this is some kind of English pronunciation challenge where I'm going to read a very challenging poem. A friend of mine sent this to me, her name is Maria and if there's one thing you should know about Maria it's that she's a real sweetie. So thanks Maria for sending me this. What is going on is that on a website called the poke the poke sorry there is a it's like a very long poem with lots and lots of pronunciation um, challenges it's a real nightmare what i'm going to do is try and read it and it is written that if we can do it correctly we are speaking better than 90% of native English speakers in the world. I think it is so difficult that even native speakers can't do it. And there's another bit there. After trying, a Frenchman said he'd prefer six months of hard labour to reading six lines aloud. Wow. Okay then. I have not practised it. I have not read it. I'm going to do a real challenge and try and read it properly for you the first time so you can see how difficult it is. I'm going to be very slow so that I hope I don't make mistakes but I'm sure I will. Let's try it then. You can read the words. They will be on the website which is the link is in the description and the text also at the bottom of the description. It's long and I'm going to read it. You know I'm from Britain and I will pronounce it in a particular way which may be different from other native speakers. Let's see. Dearest creature in creation, study English pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse, sounds like corpse, corpse, horse and worse. I will keep you, Susie, busy, make your head with heat grow dizzy. Tear in eye, your dress will tear, so shall I, O oh, hear my prayer. Just compare heart, beard and herd, dies and diet, lord and word, sword and sward, retain and Britain, mind the la latter, how it's written. Now I surely will not plague you with such words as plaque and ague, but be careful how you speak, say break and stake, but bleak and streak. Cloven, oven, how and low. Script, receipt, show, poem and toe. Hear me say, devoid of trickery, daughter, laughter and terpsichore. Typhoid, measles, topsails, aisles, exiles, similes and reviles. Scholar, vicar and cigar. Solar, nicker war and far. One, anemone, balmoral, kitchen, lichen, laundry, laurel, Gertrude, German, wind and mind, seam, melponomy, mankind. Billet does not rhyme with ballet, bouquet, wallet, mallet, chalet. Blood and flood are not like food, nor is mould like should and would. Vicious. Viscous, sorry. Viscount, load and broad. Toward, to forward, to reward. And your pronunciation's okay when you correctly say croquet. Rounded, wounded, grieve and sieve. Friend and fiend, alive and live. Ivy, privy, famous, clamour, and enamour rhyme with hammer. River, rival, tomb, bomb, comb, dole and roam, and sum and home. Stranger does not rhyme with anger, neither does devour with clangour. Souls, uh, souls but foul, haunt but aunt, font, front, won't, want, grand and grant. Shoes, goes, does, now first say finger, and then singer, ginger, linger, real, zeal, mauve, gaze, 
gouge and gauge, marriage, foliage, mirage and age. Query does not rhyme with very, nor does fury sound like berry. Dost, lost, post, and doth, cloth, loth. Job, knob, bosom, transom, oath. Though the differences seem little, we say actual, but victual. Refer does not rhyme with defer. Pfeffer does, and zephyr, heifer. Mint, pint, senate, and sedate. Dull, bull, and George ate late. Scenic, Arabic, Pacific, science, conscience, scientific, liberty, library, heave and heaven, uh, heaven, Rachel, ache, moustache, eleven. We say hallowed, but allowed. People, leopard, toad, but vowed. Mark the differences, moreover, between mover, cover, clover. Leeches, breeches, wise, precise, chalice, but police and lice. Camel, constable and stable, principal, disciple, label. Petal, panel and canal. Wait, surprise. Plate, promise, pal. Worm and storm. Chaise, chaos, chair. Senator, spectator, mayor. Tor, but are and succour for gas, alas, and Arkansas. C, idea, career, or area. Psalm, Maria, but malaria. Youth, south, southern, cleanse and clean. Doctrine, turpentine, marine. Compare alien with Italian, dandelion and battalion. Sally with Ali, uh, Sally with Ally, yeah, yeah. I, 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 way in key. Say ever, but ever, fever. Neither leisure, scheme, deceiver. Heron, granary, canary, a uh, can canary. Crevice and device and airy. Face, but preface, not a face. Phlegm, phlegmatic, ass, glass, base. Large, but target, gin, give, virgin. Ought, but joust and scour. Scourging. Ear, but earn and wear and tear. Do not rhyme with hear, but air. Seven is right, but so is even. Hyphen, roughen, nephew Stephen. Monkey, donkey, turk and jerk. Ask, grasp, wasp and cork and work. Pronunciation, think of psyche. Is a paling stout and spiky. Won't it make you lose your wits, writing groats and saying grits? It's a dark abyss or tunnel, strewn with stones, stowed, solace, gunwale. Islington and Isle of Wight, housewife, verdict and indict. Finally, which rhymes with enough? Though, through, plough, or dough, or cough. Hiccup has the sound of a cup, my advice is to give up. And it's lucky it's finished because I was about to give up. I think I got most of them right, but some of them I'm not sure, and a few of them are very unusual words, some I had never read before. What can I say? Maybe you can do better than me. Good luck. That was by uh, G. Nost Trinite on the Poke website. The link is at the top of the description. Thanks, Maria, for making me embarrass myself. I hope that everyone learned some bits of English pronunciation there, but don't trust me with all of them. I wasn't sure. Some of them were really hard. Please use the websites at the top of the description for free lessons which are more sensible and useful than this. And uh, there are new premium lessons on the website learnbritishenglish.co.uk, £2 a month. Please join us. I hope you enjoyed this English pronunciation challenge. I didn't, but maybe you did. Uh, have fun for now. I will see you next time.